It is what it is. Um, it's, it's freezing out here. Yeah, it's cold. So, um, why is the pirate backwards? Well, they can't see that, they don't know. But we've got coconut pirates in the garden. Yeah, he's probably blown around in the wind. Um, anyway, so, <laughs> on with the review. Mm -hmm. Oh, something to think. Um, still looking for beers uh, that Wonder might like. Um, oh. I've updated my board, Wonder. So at number one, we've got um, Jurassic's um, two from Stagger Really Good. Alan from Wylam. Alan. 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 From Wylam and um, mm. Verdant. Verdant's Comfort Settings, although I couldn't get the S on the end, so it says yeah. Comfort Setting. Um, Brew Dog and Cloud Water, New, uh, New England IPA and Tom Coco mm -hmm. um, from Brew York. I haven't changed my brew. Just... Well, you haven't liked any beers for ages, to be fair. Um, so we're yeah struggling a little bit on that sort of that side of it. Um, mm. And today, you wonder, we're back in Portsmouth, where we live, from our local brewery. Obviously, we went to Ireland for our last beer review. Oh yeah. Um, and I can't remember where we went before that. Um, what was that Brain one? Shot to yeah, should have been. Long, been, a long, been a long, long week. So yeah. <coughs> our um. Local uh, brewery, staggeringly good, yeah. um, have re-released mm. and done all sorts of. They've, they've been re-brewing and uh, sort of new things out. Um, we did the this one, yeah, Jurassic's uh, two, which is their um, their double IPA, um, which was a special. They only brewed, I think it was eight hundred liters of it, oh. um, and they did sort of the the nice cam wrap and all that. They all the cam wraps are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, and what we've got today, Wonder, I'm very excited about. Yeah. Is again from Staggeringly Good. Yeah. These people up here of Portsmouth online shop, staggeringlygood.com. I like their brewery. I like the place where you're going to have the drink. Because it's like room. an old church. Yeah, inside. Yeah, so um, it's That's down by, cool. down by um, Portsmouth Football Club. Um, they've, got, um, they've got two sort of venues. They've got the, yeah. the brewery side of it. Yeah. Um, the stag really good, and then next to it, they got a place called House of Rapture, which like is done out like an old church, it's and they're really cool. constantly having festival things and Lots launch things. things. With food um, as well, food. They do like a pizza thing going on, and hot dogs, and they they different nights. They had a mental awareness night the other night. Um, they've got yeah, all, they've all sorts too. going on down there, um, and they've actually just bought um, the premises behind them mm. to expand. Their whole pro, um, their whole production, and obviously they now I think they're canning on site as well. So they're very they're, friendly as well. Yeah, aren't they? and they're um, they're heading in the right direction. Um, Simon over at Real Ale Craft Beers um, loves it all. Loves their stuff. Mm -hmm. um, he's had um, a load of their stuff sent to him. We sent him a load of their stuff, um, and we've done a couple of reviews with him. Um, a um, shiny chin. The hell are you? Hey, look, a shiny look, chin. Look, look. look. <coughs> it's shiny. Why is it shiny? Why have I got a shiny face? I've no idea. <coughs> so this one's a double IPA, um, and it is the IBUs. There's no IB. What I like about their a lot of their stuff mm. is it gives you next to no information okay. on their stuff. So all this it says is 100% unfiltered, 100%. Mm -hmm. I'm fine, 100% natural and vegan friendly. And ingredients, water, barley, hops and yeast. So it gives you nothing, which okay. is the, the, the basics of any beer. Mm -hmm. um, and this one is goddamn sexual Tyrannosaurus. Oh, it's rude. Double IPA and it's 7.2%. Now, Wanda, mm -hmm. do you know where goddamn sexual Tyrannosaurus comes from? Yeah. <coughs> Where's it come from? Huh? Comes from a line from Predator, from the the, the, chop, the chopper scene. Someone on a helicopter. Yeah, old, an old, old, old wrestler mm. by the name of Jesse Bo uh, Jesse the Body Ventura, um, and he and he utters a line, and actually I've done it as the intro to this video. 
because oh, it's, okay. a, it's, a, it's a fantastic... Is that who it is on the front? Yeah, and that's who, obviously, that's who yeah, it's supposed it is, to be it? depicting on the front of the can is Jesse Ventura um, in his line from Predator. Um, God damn... <coughs> God damn, tra damn sexual Tyrannosaurus, just like me. Um, Jesse Ventura, who, who was a wrestler for, for many years, actually went on to become the mayor of Minneapolis, oh, okay. uh, Minnesota, um, journey, for, for, for many years. And um, I think he, could, he used to be called Jesse the Body. He changed his name to Jesse the Mind. He's a, a massive conspiracy theorist um, out in America. So he's worth a check out if you're into that sort of stuff. Got itch. Got itch. Yeah. So um, I'm excited about this. I've had this on tap and I have had a couple of cans of this. Um, Seven point two. Seven point two. Oh my god! I've not had this, have I? You've not had this. Sounds very strong to me. So seven point two. So it's not as strong as Jurassic. So obviously Jurassic's is eight point six. <coughs> so we're a little bit shy of that. In the glass. Lovely. Um, Orangey colour, orangina in a glass. Um, nice, gentle um, carbonation. You might be able to see that. A bit light. And uh, probably half a finger of. Little finger. Yeah. Five little cool. finger. Oh. Dis quite rapidly disappearing head. Um, My head's still here. Yeah, your head's still there, Wanda. Unfortunately so. Um, By the way, it's gone <coughs> so it looks nice in the glass. Let's give it a sniff. It's probably snowing today. It's that cold. It's not that cold actually. No. It's um massive punch bowl. Um, so <coughs> really citrusy. Quite a lot of pine in there as well. Um, it smells. Excuse me. Absolutely nice. lovely. And get a decent rock on it. Orange, pineapple, grapefruit. It smells absolutely lovely. As do most of their stuff. It mm -hmm. could be get could get accused a little bit of bias, as they're our local brewery. But I'm going to speak as I find. I don't know. Quite a lot of people like it. Simon yeah, loves all yeah. this I'll, stuff. Yeah, I'll speak as I find. Mm. The stuff I've had from their brewery <coughs> is Although, absolutely I solid. I don't like beers anyway, George. No. So. Um, so, if yeah. it's not cherry, strawberry, or sweet, or something like, like their ultimate punch, I like that one. Ultimate, uh, the, um, yeah, Simon's got um, a review of that um, yeah. over in Real Al Craft he today, likes it. Uh, yesterday, so go and have a look at that. Um, for me, it's, it's punch bowl, it's, it smells absolutely heavenly. Smell and sniff. <coughs> and you've got the, the SAS right there, Wonder. Well done. Pineapple. Pineapple, orange. Pine. Just pineapple. Just pineapple. I don't know what pine smells like, to be honest. So I wouldn't know. Does it smell like a fir tree? If you like. If Is that like. pine? Yeah, if you like. Or the fir, what's the fir? The fir tree, like our little Christmas trees you get. <coughs> Does it smell like a little Christmas tree? I wish I could shake this bloody cough. It's going on for months now. It's I getting like all you to get it out, don't you, really? Am I tasting it? Oh, well, you need to taste it, don't you? First. I, don't, I don't know how many of these you've done. <laughs> so, if it's an invite, Wanda, mm -hmm. to a party. It smells like a summer party. Yeah, so um, it's not turning you off. No. Can you smell your IBUs? No. No. Does it smell like a strong alcohol? Right. It doesn't smell like a 7.2, does it? No. So, you're not getting the. the Mind you, when I smelt 16%. Anything compared to that now, it's going to smell weak compared to that, isn't well, we, it? Um, we did a live last night with Dean and we had the barley wine, Ooh, which was, was nice, absolutely yeah. foul, wasn't it? Um, yeah. From Ridgeway, just horrific. Yeah. So much so, Dean threw his out, out the back door. Mm. Um, looks nice, smells nice. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it tastes like. You like you like it? So I've had this on tap. I've had a couple of cans of this before as well. Mm. It's fantastic. It's a lovely, lovely beer. Um, massive. It's, um, it's got a rude <coughs> word on it. What, sexual? Yeah. You can't say that. No, I don't want to. <laughs> For me. Cover my ear bowl. 
for me. Don't go on your board. I've got, got to get there yet. Hang on a minute. Um, that for me, massive grapefruit, um, pineapple, a little bit of orange in there. It is a, it is piney, well, but what I, but what I really like about it. So you're getting all that juiciness. Tree. But what? For the bloody fir trees. Like it's not a Christmas tree in a fucking can, it's is it? Pine. That's what I'm associating. Yes. Or is it pine nuts? <coughs> they don't mean pine nuts, is it? Is that pine nuts? Yes. So for me, mass, massive fruit bowl, punch bowl. It and then, but what makes the beer? You're a fucking idiot at times, <laughs> aren't you? Um, what <coughs> really makes the beer is the massive. Bitterness at the end. What are you laughing at? Has it got IBUs? Has it got IBUs yeah. in it? I reckon there's quite a few IBUs in there. So is it quite bitter? Don't it's it? it's quite gentle to begin with. And then it's bam, bam, is it? And then it is bam with the bitterness at the end. Um, a bit like what he's the, saying. The really. hot, it's really really hoppy and hoppy bitter. So you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting um, sort of juiciness, yeah. and and then the the hop and the the um, the bitterness at the end is fantastic. Lovely, lovely, I'm lovely, lovely. I'm covering my kneecaps. Wonder, yeah. Mrs. Wonder. It's got all in the jeans. Sexual Tyrannosaurus. It's rude. <coughs> Go for it. She ain't gonna like this. It's very, very bitter, and I, yeah. I like that. I, I want. You I, like the bitter stuff. I, I like want the it. Stuff. I want that big after uh, after oh, um, bitterness on the on the back end. Your drink. It's it's lovely. It's so perfect you, you, for him. It's it's so well balanced because you're getting the the fruit up front, and then or the, the fruit up front flavors from the from the hops, yeah. and then all of a sudden it all tails away and leaves a massive mm. bitterness on the back end. It's, it's very bitter, it's bitter but I know a lot of people probably love that. Yeah, I, th I think if you like a double IPA, uh, more in, and also with that, 7.2. That's your kind of drink, isn't it? Because we're polar opposites with drink. You I are, like sweet stuff, you like the bitter. You are, the get, you are getting the alcohol in there, you are getting mm. the 7%. It's not, yeah. it's not trying to mask it, no. so it's balanced all the way through. It's, mm -hmm. it's got a little bit of everything. Um, it's quite feisty, isn't it? Lovely, absolutely lovely. So it's not for me though. It's not one. It's, I didn't think it'd be Wanda's drink. Because I'm, I like sweet stuff. It's not break my thing, but people that I like, you would love it. I, I, I can still feel the burning now. Yeah, you, it's the um, now. It's, it's 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 tremendous. Um, so two questions, Wanda. Oh. It's not for me, only because it's not a sweet drink like my others. Yep. So, I didn't expect to get anything other than a thumbs down from Wanda because yeah. of that massive bitterness on the on the tail end of it. Totally the opposite of the drink, aren't we? Yeah. Um, you so don't like my sweet drinks either, do you? No. So, it's horses yeah. for courses. Um, for me, it's a massive, massive thumbs up. Mm -hmm. um, does it trouble my board? Oh, I think it will. In all honesty, uh -huh. yes, it does. Oh, what's going to come off it then? It's where it goes on the board. Oh, that's um, why you need a top ten, really. I'll probably need a top ten. Because um, you have so many favourites now, don't you? I think we should get another board <coughs> and sort it all out, to be honest. I think it'll probably end up... It's certainly been the top three. Yeah? Yeah. Um... Well, what's going to get demoted? What I might, what I might have to do mm. is pick up one of these mm. and one of the Jurassics mm. and, choose which and do a side by side with them because for me, I think both of those beers are, are my favourite beers of the year. You have to just like a joint number one. You can have a joint number one, but I'd like, like because because they're quite uh. similar in style they're both double ipas um 
well, obviously Jurassic is ever so slightly higher on the ABV. Um, I think it, it could warrant. Um, let's have a look at both of them. Um, and um, we'll 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 have a look. She can't come in. Um, we'll have a look at them joint together um, yeah. at some point. Um, so so for me, absolutely fantastic. Staggeringlygood.com on um, uh, on Facebook. They're on Instagram and it's their website. They've got an online shop now. And they're in <coughs> the House of Ratchets are a really nice, cool place to go to. Their beers are, are fairly well priced as well. Most of them are like four, like four and a half the, quid like for the, the four forties. I think this one was five, five fifty. I think this one. So slightly more expensive, but worth every penny. I don't mind paying a bit extra when beers are that decent. To be fair. Um, <coughs> um, so yeah, um, find us on Instagram, Wonder Beer Wonder, Facebook, Wonder Beer Wonder. Um, YouTube. YouTube. Um, comment down below. Um, new video Sunday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>